morning, folks. Ariel and Burley over here at Finest. You'll probably see him running in and out of the camera. I apologize for the loud-ish background noise. Um, it has finally gotten warm, as you can probably tell. And that means snow is finally starting to pour down off the mountains and into that creek below uh, my house. And it is up many feet, and now at this time of year, it gets really noisy. Now you can see probably me standing here has, even though you can hear them chirping all around me, has scared most of the birds off my feeders. But uh, at least one of you guys had asked about how I have these feeders set up. And specifically, they were trying to keep cats from being able to get the birds at their feeders. That is not why I set this up this way, but this is to keep bears from getting the bird feed. Not so much the birds. Um, in the winter, bears are generally sleeping and the, the feeders stay over close to my house where I can get to them more easily for filling and stuff. But in the summer, they go up here. And this is the setup I designed, which so far has been successful in keeping bears from reaching them. Generally, if you're gonna hang something out of reach of a bear, the recommended distance is 10 feet off the ground and at least four feet out from a tree trunk or anything that you could climb. That should cover a fairly good sized grizzly bear um, reach from any direction. So that's where I've got these. What I did, it's gonna be hard to see, is I borrowed a friend's ladder and climbed way up there and sunk an eye bolt up probably like 12 feet because I knew I was gonna get some sag in the uh, cord. And the same thing on this side. And then a third one right here. So when I go to fill the feeders, they're mostly empty. I usually wait till they're completely empty, but for the sake of the video, we're gonna do this. I have an eye bolt right here. This is my anchor. So I'm just going to loosen up my cord and let my feeders down because I'm not 10 feet tall. I can't reach clear up there. So you can see how I just lower them really slowly here. And they come right down to where I can nicely reach them. Then I grab my bird seat. Even in the winter, I use this kind of can. It's a metal can that no mice or anything can get into. And it has a locking lid. When you pull that handle up, the lid can't come off. You have to unlock it and open it. So now my bird feeders are down where I can reach them. And I just unclip them, fill them up here. I just feed straight sunflower seeds. Um, the birds obviously have access to all their normal wild things a little later in the year, lots of berries, lots of bugs, and so on, but sunflower seeds are, for one, liked best by most of the birds, and that's probably because they're such a, a high oil, high fat um, content. They're very, very rich, and especially with our cold uh, weather here for much of the year, that's nice for them. So I just fill these up. Now, how I have them attached to my cord here is I actually put in five of these little clips so that I could um, keep them locked in. Let me show you that a little more close up. So here we're a little more up close. You can even see that some of these birds are pretty brave with me. That's one of my little uh, western um, chickadees sitting on the branch right there a couple feet from me. Really like one foot from me. He's still coming in. So what I have here, and I have some extra ones, but so I could adjust the positioning of these feeders. But these are just little carabiners. You can probably get them for like 50 cents at your hardware store. And I just tied a single knot into my main cord where I wanted that to stay. Oh, hi, little guys. Hi, I'm filling them up. So you'll have them again in a minute. And that, if you don't drop it, um, works really well for securing the feeders. These feeders, by the way, if you um, have a squirrel problem, I know I have one that's different, but that was because a friend gave it to me a long time ago. If you're buying feeders, and I can link to these down below, I have no affiliation with the company, they're just awesome. They, um, this outside bit, I don't know how well you can see that, is on a spring in here. And so if something heavy, like a squirrel gets on here, it slams closed and they can't reach any of the seed. Um, and then little birds sit on it and they can reach right in and get the seeds. And some of the nut hatches and stuff like grabbing onto that mesh. It just seems like a really well designed feeder. Squirrels cannot get into it. Um, I like my squirrels too. I just don't want to uh, put out the money to feed them all and encourage a huge squirrel population. I already have plenty. So how these work, this is just a bigger version of the same thing as you unhook this little, um, hi there, little handle. And then the whole outside shell 
lifts off in there is the uh, spring and you can kind of adjust how how much weight it needs to on it to close this one wasn't quite empty like I said I normally wait till they're completely empty to fill them but I wanted to show you guys how this works so I just fill that up put its outside protective cover on hook the little handle back through it and now again you can see it's springiness you know that can come clear down if there's something heavy on it and would lock the squirrel out of there and here's one of my little carabiners I actually just had these left from something else um, over the years and I've just tied a single knot so the carabiner can't slide back and forth on the rope and this is just paracord it's I think like thousand pound test so that should be plenty strong enough to hold a couple bird feeders so now they're all draping sideways here my birds in the trees are very impatiently waiting for me to get out of their way lock my bird seed back up and let me show you how I put it back up so that works you know I've got enough extra cord that these can come clear down while well, the bottom one sits on the ground and the rest I can reach at least and so that my whole cord doesn't unthread the end is knotted securely into my anchoring eye bolt here so I can't just drop it and have the whole thing come apart so now I've got my cord right here you probably can't see it because it's kind of a camouflage green and brown color you can see my birds are already coming back into the feeders I don't even have them up in the air yet and these feeders aren't that heavy you could make something easier to pull if you had a lot of weight on it but um, I just pull them gently up try to swing them too much to spill the bird feed and as we get way over my head there I just wrap this cord back around my um, eyeball anchor here kind of make a friction hitch there with a couple knots and then a nice pull loop and then make sure I loop my extra cord up out of my way there so I don't trip myself or anybody else. So now you can see my, <laughs> I've already got a bird back on it. My bird feeders are back to being 10 feet in the air. I have not also, you know, like I said, I did this to uh, keep them out of reach of bears, but I have also not seen a squirrel or a chipmunk have any success in following that line out from the trees and down onto the feeders and with those kind of feeders like I said even if they get on them they can't get anything out because they're too heavy and the feeder slams shut so the squirrels and chipmunks do eat seeds on the ground that the birds spill and I'm fine with that but I wasn't interested in uh, like I said either spending the money to feed a million squirrels or um, developing a much larger squirrel population I get, I don't know if you can see that little guy, that's a junco. They like to feed on the ground as well, several of the birds do. So anything that gets spilled also gets cleaned up by them. But the other ones can come and go. They like being able to hide in the branches. I don't think a cat could get to your birds with this kind of setup as well. And it just, it seems to work really well for me. So all that I needed to make this was three eye bolts, a ladder of some kind to get up to a high enough place and of course if you're just trying to keep keep them out of reach of a ha house cat you probably don't need the grizzly bear dimensions um, on the height but one eye bolt there not a piece of paracord to it you can usually get those bundles of like 500 feet of paracord for five six bucks at a hardware store or farm ranch store so i just knotted one piece of it there um, knotted my little carabiners in place so my feeders wouldn't swing back and forth and all like you know sag to the middle <laughs> you can see Burley does still like to watch them even though they're now way over his head unlike in the winter um, none of my carabiners in place put my feeders onto them the cord goes through a, a second eye bolt and comes down to the last one wouldn't have to be an eye bolt I just got three because that was the easiest and tied off the end so when you lower your feeders your whole cord doesn't unthread and you have to get a ladder out to put it back up there and make sure your cord's long enough that when it's on the ground it can still reach there to be anchored you know then, then when you pull it up you'll have extra cord but you got to be able to lower them at least if you're putting them this far over your head down to where you can reach them to fill them so I that seems to work really well for me it would just require um, two trees or posts or wall edges or you know something where you have a span in between like that that you can hang them but that is what I do for the summer to keep grizzly bears out of the bird feeders 
and it would probably work for keeping a lot of other things out. So hopefully that idea is helpful to somebody. And if you have more feeders and more weight, you could put a little pulley up there instead of just sliding the cord through the smooth eye bolt. That would make it easier to go up and down. You could get a little winch so you could crank it. You could make it really fancy. But this only cost me a couple dollars to put up in the first place and um, seems to work really well. So hopefully that idea helps somebody who has bird feeding uh, issues with other things than the birds eating your feet. Hi folks, Ariel over here. Thanks for spending some of your valuable time watching these videos. Hopefully you found something beautiful, educational, interesting, peaceful, relaxing, or useful while you are here. If so, find more videos here, subscribe so you don't miss any updates, and if you like what you found here, feel free to like and share away so that others can benefit as well. You all have a wonderful day.